Hello everyone, I'm Hyo Jung Kim from Georgia Tech. Today I'm going to present on Batch Aware Unified Memory Management in GPUs for Irregular Workloads. This work has been collaborated with Jaehyun Sim from Intel Labs, Prasun Gera, Ramiat Hadidi, and Hesun Kim at Georgia Tech. Modern GPUs support unified virtual memory with demand paging. This not only provide a single shared virtual address space for all the processors in a system, but it also enables a large GPU application that does not fit in a single GPU to run without any program changes. However, since UVM demand paging allows page fault to occur on demand, it leads to a severe performance penalty. To understand why, we first investigate how NVIDIA GPU runtime software handles GPU page fault in detail. When GPU accesses memory, its virtual address is translated into a physical address. If the page table does not have the mapping, a page fault exception is raised and the GPU runtime begins to handle the exception. The exception handling starts by draining all of the page fault buffer entries. We use one or two pages in the figure for simplicity, but in reality, a number of page fault are generated within a short period of time since thousands of threads are running under the simply execution model used in GPUs. We call this handling a number of page fault together as batch processing. To handle many page fault efficiently, the GPU runtime pre-processes the page fault before performing the page table walks. This pre-processing includes the sorting of the page fault and the analysis of page addresses to insert page prefetching requests or scheduling evictions if necessary, after which page table walks begin. Page fault generated after this batched processing begins cannot be handled along with current batch. Instead, they are inserted into the page fault buffer and wait until current batch processing ends. Once the page table walks are completed, the GP runtime begins to handle, uh, begins to migrate pages to the GPU memory. Every time a page migration is done, the GPU updates its page table and resumes the threads that are waiting for the page. When the page batch processing ends, the GPU runtime checks if there are waiting page faults. If so, the GPU runtime begins to handle them immediately. This is an optimization to reduce the unpredictable overhead that arises due to the interrupt-based service of the operating system. Once the last page migration is done, the batch processing ends. If page fault buffer is empty, the GPU page fault processing routine ends. However, this process is repeated when a new page fault interrupt is raised by the GPU. This is the outline of today's talk. First, we explain two observations we make from the NVIDIA GPU runtime software investigation. Then, we present our solutions to mitigate the issues. Finally, we show our evaluation results. The total batch processing time can be regarded as the fault handling time plus page migration time. The fault handling time is defined as the time between when a batch processing begins and when the first page migration begins. Although it's not deterministic, it also depends on the batch size, which is defined to be size summation of page fault handled together in a batch and contiguity of the pages. From the NVIDIA runtime software code investigation and profiling, we observed that the fault handling time accounts for a significant portion of the total batch processing time. This chart shows a profiling result of a breadth-first search algorithm in graph computing workloads on an NVIDIA Titan XP GPU. X-axis represents the batch size, and the Y-axis represents per batch, per page fault handling time. From this, we learned two things. First, Per-page fault handling time decreases as the batch size increases. 
Second, most of the batches are small, in which the fault handling time is a dominant factor of total batch processing time. Now let's move on to the second observation we make. This diagram shows a timeline of when page evictions occur. When the GP runtime fails to allocate page A, it initiates an eviction of page X. Once page X eviction from the GPU memory is completed, both the CPU and GPU page tables are updated for the evicted page X and the frame is freed. Once the frame is freed, the page A migration begins. Subsequently, before allocating page B, page Y is evicted. From this, we learned, we observed that the page eviction and a new page allocation are serialized and this effectively increases page migration time. To summarize, we make the following observations. First, batch processing is more efficient in larger batches, but most of batches are small. Second, page evictions are on the critical path. The goal of today's work, the goal of this work is to alleviate these issues and reduce the performance impact of using UVM in modern GPUs. Particularly, we aim to increase the batch size with modest hardware overhead and take page evictions off the critical path. Now we will present our solutions. We introduce our first solution. To amortize the fault handling overhead by increasing the batch size, we present thread over subscription. It is based on virtual thread and engineered towards unified memory environment in the following senses. First, we allow a CPU-like thread lock switching, context switching. Second, we dynamically control context switch based on premature eviction rates. A premature eviction occurs when a page is evicted earlier than should be and a page fault is generated for the page, again by the GPU. The figure on the bottom shows how thread over subscription works. We enable the thread over subscription from the beginning of the execution by allocating one additional thread lock to each SM. This additionally allocated thread lock is inactive at first. Once all of the warps in an active thread lock are stalled due to page fault, the thread over subscription mechanism context switches the active thread lock with an inactive one. The thread, lock, uh, thread over subscription mechanism can be detrimental if it incurs premature evictions. To prevent this, we monitor the degree of premature eviction. If it increases the, and exceeds a certain threshold, the thread over subscription mechanism does not allow any more context switching. Otherwise, thread over subscription allocates one additional thread block to each SM in an incremental manner. For more detailed hardware implementation, please refer to our paper. This timeline demonstrates how thread over subscription can increase the batch size. In this example, for ease of explanation, we assume that only one thread lock, TB, can be dispatched to an SM. We also assume that page A, B, and C are accessed by TB1 and page D is accessed by TB2. In the baseline, TB2 can be executed only after TB1 is retired. With thread over subscription, however, TB1 is context switched with TB2 when all of its warps are stalled. After context switching overhead, TB2 is executed and page fault for page D is generated, which can be handled along with those for page B and page C. Once page C migration is done, TB1 is resumed and retired. Once page D migration is done, TB2 is context switched in, resumed, and retired. 
As can be seen in the figure, the thread oversubscription mechanism eliminates the need for the third batch, thereby reducing the overall fault handling time. Now I explain our second solution to take page evictions off the critical path. This timeline shows how when the GP runtime begins to handle a batch processing, we check the memory, GP memory status. If the GPU memory is running out of space, we initiate a single page eviction by sending a preemptive eviction request to the GPU. Once page X eviction is completed, both CPU and GPU page tables are updated and the frame is read. Unlike in the case of the baseline, page A can be migrated to the GPU without any delay. If a subsequent page eviction is required, then it can be done along with the page A migration using the bidirectional transfers. The preemptive page eviction can be easily done by adding a page, a GPU memory status tracker in the GPU runtime software. Since memory status is updated only when a new page is allocated in the GPU, so no additional hardware, uh, no additional overhead is required. The figure on the lower bottom, lower right corner shows how we implement the mechanism in the GP runtime software. When a page fault interrupt is raised by the GPU, we send a preemptive eviction request to the GPU. And the bottom half ISR starts to handle page faults. The GPU evicts a page in response to the preemptive eviction request. And once fault handling is done, page migrations begin without any delay. This is a summary of how we make unified memory management more efficient. First, we increase the batch size with thread over subscription to amortize the batch processing overhead thereby reducing the total number of batches. Second, we hide page eviction with minimal software changes in the GP runtime software. Next, we present our evaluation results. We use Maxim, a cycle level microarchitecture simulator, and we modified the simulator to support virtual memory with demand paging. Demand paging is modeled based on the GP runtime software for NVIDIA Pascal GPUs, and we use a 1024 entry fault buffer to handle up to a thousands of simultaneous page faults. GP memory capacity is configured to be a fractions of the memory footprint of each workload, and we use the LRU policy for page replacement. This figure shows the performance of our proposed mechanisms. TO stands for thread over subscription, and UE stands for unobtrusive eviction. The second from the rightmost bars represent the performance of our proposed mechanisms combined. We also compare our mechanisms with the eviction throttling compression mechanism, or ETC, which, is, which was proposed in last year's ASMOS. The performance is normalized to that of a baseline that uses a page prefetching technique. Our mechanism achieves an average speed up of 2x relative to the baseline and even outperforms ETC by 91% on average. The reason these two techniques, TO and UE, are especially effective together is that TO reduces the number of batches while UE minimizes the page migration time. Since UE is more effective in larger batches, where page migration time dominates the overall batch processing time, and TO, which increases the batch size, provides that. The performance improvement is attributed to the following two factors. First, our mechanism reduces the total number of batches. For the evaluated workloads, we see that the number of batches is reduced by 51% on average because we process um, 2.27x 
greater number of fault per batch. Second, the unobtrusive eviction technique reduces the average batch processing time even when we handle more page fault per batch due to threat over subscription. This figure shows a distribution of batches in size and their efficiencies. The line chart shows that as the batch size is increased, efficiency is also increased as well since the batch processing overhead is amortized. It is clearly seen that bigger batches appear when the threat over subscription is employed. From this, we conclude that threat over subscription effectively increases the batch size. To conclude, in this work, we tackled the UVM performance issue due to demand paging. We proposed thread over subscription that amortizes the fault handling time by increasing the batch size. And we also proposed unobtrusive eviction that hides page eviction off the critical path with minimal software changes in the GP runtime software. From our evaluation, our proposed techniques achieved 2x average performance improvement. Thank you.